In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the gun bunch to its fullest potential through breaking down the play Mesh Post in Madden 21. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Now if you're new to the channel and you don't know what my channel is about, my channel is all about helping you become a better player in Madden 21. We break down offensive and defensive strategies to help you win more games in Madden. So if you're interested in getting better at this game, we do videos every single day that teach you different offensive and defensive strategies. And so if you want to stay up to date with the channel, all you have to do is hit that subscribe button. It's completely free free and if you want to know whenever we release a new video go ahead and turn on your notifications by hitting that bell icon at the bottom right hand corner of your screen okay guys so i'm going to be breaking down the mesh posts from the gun bunch today i'm going to share uh, a couple different things uh, one of my favorite ways to run this play to make it super super challenging for your opponent to be able to stop it now really quickly before i dive too deep into this video i do want to let you know that if you watch this video and you want to learn more about the gun bunch i actually have a full uh ebook on it that basically has videos and write-ups um, it's a complete strategy guide teaching you how to run the gun bunch so if you want to get that ebook it is available for just 15 bucks and it's in the description it goes through the whole new york jets gun bunch offense pretty much my preferred offense at this point in the bad season Okay guys, so uh, we're going to be breaking down Mesh Post and we're going to first, uh, I want to share, share with you my zone drops here. I've got them on 25, 5, and 5. And we're going to be going over a couple different coverages here, um, but we're primarily going to start with the cover for drop. Now, um, the beauty of this, this play right here is, you know, depending on how you run it, it really can force a lot of tricky situations for your opponent. Okay, it really, really can. And you want to definitely leverage this little route, um, this little route to the running back to its fullest potential, in my opinion. And so the setup that we're going to be giving to you today is a way that you can basically do that. So all we're going to do as far as our setup goes is we're going to put the square receiver or the solo receiver on a little five-yard out route. And then what we're going to do is we're going to put the R1 receiver on a hitch route. And we're going to put the circle receiver on a smart route. So we're just going to smart route him so he goes exactly... 10 yards and cuts to the inside. And all we're gonna do at the snap of the ball here is we are gonna motion that circle receiver all the way out to the numbers and snap the ball. And what you're gonna see is that's gonna pull these flat zones out of the way and it's going to leave a nice little open opportunity for you to be able to hit this route. So again, you're just motioning all the way to the numbers and what you'll see is that these zones will get pulled out of the way and you will be able to hit this route very, very consistently, especially depending on the zone coverage. Now, uh, real quick here, I want to shift over into some uh, cover three, and I want to show you some cloud flat cover three. This is uh, cover three with about 25 yard flat zones. And I just want you to watch kind of how they play this. First and foremost, obviously your, your flat is going to be wide open, your little quick flat to the tight end. Um, but you do see that they do kind of drift in the kind of basic area of that route and so you do have to wait for it to open up the beauty of this play is one of the one of the strategies that people will use um, depending on how they defend gun bunch is you will see a lot of this coverage right here when you're running the gun bunch you're going to see a ton of this right here where they basically double flat both sides and they're going to use her in the middle of the field well when they choose to do that um, what you're going to basically realize really quickly here is that this little wheel route beats every zone in the game. The only zones in the game that are going to be able to hang with that wheel route are zones that are not zone dropped. Meaning if they're doing zone drops, and it's very likely that they will, especially if they're defending gun bunch, you're going to have a ton of success with this running back little seam wheel route. Now, what they will go to down the road is they will begin to man this up. But the problem is we're going to give you another setup that's going to help you deal with it for whenever they man up the running back, uh, man up the running back wheel route as well. So we'll go over that in just a second. But the next thing is if you take a look on this right side here, let's say that I go with that Mabel coverage one more time. I want to show you something really quickly. And that's just this, this little circle, or I'm sorry, this little, um, little five yard little hitch route right here to the R1 receiver. And what you're going to see is you can basically playmaker this right or left. You can also just throw it as a hitch route. A lot of times what you'll notice is, especially if someone is wanting to run what I would call a max coverage defense, they're going to drop a yellow zone onto that 
bunch size as you'll see right here. And what you'll notice is that the yellow zone will sit like right on that. You see right here, he sits on it, but I can playmaker him open. And as you can see right there, just simply wait for him to clear based off the zone stretching. Another strategy for that playmaker is actually very good and very effective against something like um, a max coverage, man coverage. And we'll show you what that looks like right here. So again, we're just gonna create this same concept. We're gonna motion out the circle receiver. And then if you watch here, all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna playmaker him to the left. And what you'll see is he's gonna become yeah. wide open or have enough of an opening for us to be able to hit him. We can playmaker him left, we can playmaker him right. We can even playmaker him up if we want to. Um, that's one of the beauties of that route. Now, really quickly here, I did want to break down more of like a cover two style defense. Now, if they're not doing zone drops, uh, what you're going to notice is that this circle receiver is going to come open or your flat route is going to, you're going to have so many things open if they're not doing zone drops. As you can see right there though, if they are, if they're biting down on the hitch route with those five yard uh, hook curls, then you're going to be able to hit your little hitch route to Devontae Adams. The beauty of this play really comes in its spacing, in my opinion. The, the spacing of this play is absolutely phenomenal because what's going to happen is it's really going to put your their user in a tough situation. He's going to naturally want to go to that circle receiver, but if he does that, you're going to have your running back wide open. You really have these nice little um, kind of seam attacks on both sides or vertical threats that are going to be very effective. Now, really quickly here, I wanted to jump back out of here and I wanted to go ahead and put the zones back on default. And I wanna break down for you two different situations or a, a couple situations that might come up as you're, as you're kind of going through this offense. So the first one is what I would recommend someone run against mesh post. If someone wanted to, wanted to try to stop mesh post, I would actually reckon, recommend running a stock cover two, meaning simply just, just calling the cover two. Tampa two stock will do a decent job uh, against this just because of where the zones will get to. But what you'll notice is because of the motion out, you're gonna see here that this little seam wheel, there's gonna be opportunity for you to hit that route. There's also going to be opportunity for you to hit your post route if you just time it. You know, again, it's all about timing. Um, but you'll see here again, this motion out, you see the yellow zones drop down on it. Now, as you see right there, the user is more than likely gonna be that middle linebacker. So that's why this play, I think, does a decent job as far as like a, a base call. Because what you'll see here is if it's just a standard zone, you're gonna hit that all day long. And like I said, one of the things that they're going to do is they're gonna go to some man-to-man -man coverage. So I wanna give you a setup that you can use that's really good for man-to-man -man coverage out of this. So if they are running man-to-man -man coverage and you want it to look basically identical to what you are already running, then I would recommend the following uh, setup. I would simply take the square receiver and I would put him on a uh, streak route, a little fade route right there. You're gonna clear some space doing that. And then with the R R1 receiver, I would actually recommend go ahead and put him on a hitch route just like last, just like before. And then all I would do with the running back is I would put him on an option route. And what you're gonna find if they are in man coverage, that option route will work them over. It will work man coverage over. It is very difficult to stop man-to-man -man coverage um, when, or very difficult to stop an option route when you're in man-to-man -man coverage. And so it's gonna kind of continue to open everything else up for your offense. Now, one other setup really quickly is if basically all we're going to do is we're gonna streak that fade, that square receiver, and then we're gonna put the running back on an in route. That is another option as well. As you can see, the little mesh underneath that you're gonna create is going to create some openings. But anyways, guys, that is the mesh post breakdown out of the gun bunch. Now, if you enjoyed this video and you might say, well, I'm interested in learning a little bit more about the gun bunch, if you are interested in learning more about the gun bunch, if you want to get my complete gun bunch offensive guide, that is available for just $15 in the description. It breaks down and walks you through step by step how to run the most elite gun bunch in the Madden community. I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. And if you have any questions, you can always text me. My number is in the top right hand corner of the screen. And just like we just wanted to remind you, if you want to get that ebook link, the link to pick up the ebook is in the description. Thanks for your time.